What's up guys and welcome back to Gladiator Stripe and today we're reviewing the brand new Headspeed Pro Auxetic 2.0 racket endorsed by Novak Djokovic himself and I guess it's a little bit of a stretch to call it brand new considering it has been released quite some time ago but hey I, I'm sorry I'm a little bit late to the party but let's see what this thing can do check out the specs The Head Speed Pro Zetic 2.0. Wow, so many memories with the Speed Pro lineup. Such a good overall control oriented racket. I used to actually play with the Head Speed Pro back in like 2018, maybe. And in the 2024 update, Head adds the Auxetic 2.0 technology to the Speed Pro. And that's really the main change that you will notice right away. And the thing is, if you didn't like the previous gen and the overall integration of the Auxetic technology into the Speed Pro, you won't like the feel of the new one either. Now, me, I was one of the main people screaming just how well the Exotic technology integrates into the speed lineup, mainly the speed MP, but it does wonders to the heaviest and most control-oriented member of the lineup too. So yeah, long story short, I'm a big fan of the plush feel of the Headspeed Pro. This racket is balanced and in fact I don't really have a favorite ground stroke with it. Both forehands and backhands play remarkably. But let's go ahead and start with my favorite shot overall, the backhand. As you know, I always look for stability and control when it comes to my backhands. And if the benchmark for me is my racket of choice when it comes to the feel, the Gravity Pro with added weight, the Speed Pro falls just slightly behind because it does offer more power than the Gravity, therefore slightly sacrificing stability and control. But hey, very slightly, and I could even argue that with some added weight, this difference could be pretty much minimized to a point where you just almost don't notice it. Where you do win, however, is of course on the power and spin aspect. And no, the Head Speed Pro is not the first frame that comes to mind when we say those two words, but it is definitely more forgiven than, say, the Head Gravity Pro. If you don't play completely flat and like a bit more power and versatility on the back and side, this bad boy or girl is a good option for sure. Although I did say that this is not the first racket that comes to mind when we talk about spin, Paired with my current favorite string, the Technifiber Razor Soft 125, you can totally rip the ball with this thing. And considering that my forehand is way spinnier than my backhand, I love the head speed pro here. Anyways, is it time to talk about serves? I think it is. It's solid for sure. Definitely not my favorite one because I love my first flat serves and it doesn't give me the confidence I like to feel on those, but again, I think that it's something very fixable with some added weight. Now, when it comes to the slices and the topspin serve, this thing once again rips, but again, don't forget about the Razor Soft pairing. So yes, very solid on the serves. Volleys were great too, it's surprisingly maneuverable and solid enough for me to place the shots right where I want them to go. And that's pretty much everything that I look for when it comes to volleys in a racket, because uh, although I do go to the net quite a bit, I'm not a doubles player, so yeah, solid on the net shots for sure. Anyways, this is a really good racket overall. If you're thinking whether you should switch from the previous gen to the new one, having just bought the 22 version because you got a good deal or discount or whatever, you probably shouldn't and don't even think about it, just, you know, keep playing with your 2022 and have fun and enjoy it because they are very similar. But if you're looking for a very balanced and really plush feeling control oriented racket that doesn't really sacrifice any other aspects of the game, the Headspeed Pro Exotic 2.0 is definitely an option you should consider. But while you're considering it, check out the grades. 